Oh, folks, I don't even, I'm gonna have to get pictures of this. I think it says Goodyear on it. I'm walking up a mountain of pain. I got my mow detector. Um, let me make sure I got. Yeah, I got my pen pointer in my bag. Um, got water. Got a shovel and a rake. There's a dump up here too. Look where that tree's falling over in that hole there. Um, these sides of hills like this, after the leaves come off along creeks and stuff. If you walk them and look this dirt, eventually along a water source, you're gonna find Indian sites. I'd say there's one on this hill right here. I haven't looked for it yet. I've just mow detected here. But there'd be evidence right here on the sides on these slopes. But I'm going up here to a foundation. I'm gonna try to find some stuff, mix it up a little bit. I've been putting on tons of arrowhead hunting videos. It's time to put on some of this stuff. I'll get back on some of my first finds. I'm using the Garrett Ace 400. Later. All right. Look how big some of these big massive trees are. This is beautiful up in here. That's a huge tree there. There's another, there's several big ones up here on the side of this hill. This is probably good to mow detect in here. Should. I'll do this on the way back down the hill though. I wanna go up here and try to find some bottles. All right, I just dug this shotgun shell right there and I won't show many of these, but ones that are weird. This says pointer, 12 gauge, CC and company. And it's an old paper shell. I've never seen that one before. Pointer, CC and company. That's pretty cool. Later. Hey, you can see I'm in a pine forest in the middle of nowhere in the woods. Uh, I'm heading in here, I'm close to a house. I'm gonna go over here and Modi Tech. I will start to get back on my first fun peaks. Thanks for watching. You can see this stuff. I'm I put my mow detector up here. I'm gonna rake around here and see if I can't find a nice seam and just be able to rake tons of stuff out. Because I think there's tons of stuff here. Right here's an old can opener. Um pretty sure that's an old bottle opener and look at the glass and stuff and I just peeled off the leaves there's shoes in here it's hard to tell what's over this hill I'll get back when I find something cool see there's another shoe and look over here there's a seam of stuff right here we're gonna rake through some of this later yeah, I can do some live digging here a little bit there ain't much here but look there's a leather sole of a baby shoe some kid that lived here yeah there's some a molded piece of plastic if that was a figure or something I'm not seeing much but I can probably find something with my detector and I don't even know if I'm on the main part of this I don't even know where to begin up here look all around maybe even down in there there's stuff I don't know I'll have to look around and probably most of the day. All right, I peeled off some stuff and right here, oh, and it's perfect and it's an older Marks. It's a guy with a bugle and it looks like, oh yeah, I found one of these when I was here with Chuck. That's a good piece for my collection. I love these old Marks plastic toys. Some kid played with this. This house has stuff from up there on the point from like the mid, 
pre-1850 the house is clear people lived up into it into the 50s so there's everything here that's a cool find i love stuff like this i'll clean it up and show pictures at the end all right i got a cool toy and it's metal metal detectors it right here um I, i'm what i'm doing i'm raking stuff off this hill and then i'm putting my garrett ace in relic mode and i'm going over the stuff i rake down and i would have never seen this there's lots of combs and stuff but look at this it's a little thing from a playset a little metal sign that says watch children that's pretty cool it's like metal and it's still got the paint on it it was ringing up let me see here i'll put it down and show you what it was ringing up show you how easy this uh you can probably hear the noise from my headsets on the camera let's see here it's like 86 in relic mode so you know you gotta dig that and i got another thing cool well folks i just did it i mean if you're metal detecting and something like this pops out below a whole old house i it's i got some kind of fire badge or police badge and it looks like a daggone real one. Oh, folks i'm on a good spot look at this pottery coming out Look at this big, oh, folks, I don't even, I'm gonna have to get pictures of this. I think it says Goodyear on it. Ah, oh. Inspector, Goodyear G3 Inspector is what it says. Oh, I'm gonna have to, I'll get some pictures of this like this. This is awesome, folks. Later. You know, this is pretty awesome to say the least i ain't never seen anything like this it's badge and it's automotive oh man good year i'll get it cleaned off here a little bit inspector it's got a little neck air but that's old and it, this is gonna display awesomely you, usually this stuff's all crumpled up if you find this in a yard because a tractor's running over it these are the best places to motor detect and dig over the side of a hill you rake the stuff down you put your detector in relic mode you're gonna find stuff more so than i find stuff on the river i can just light it up on a place like this and just i'll find more stuff like this here consistently all day little toys I have a chance at a thousand dollar crock here a couple hundred dollar bottle those crocs are old they're 1880s um there's old stuff here and this is pretty old this is early automotive i don't know if this is a kid's toy or not but let me brush it off and i'll get back this is a great find it's great later all right this is what i carry in my pocket you can get these at ace hardware in a three pack there's three different uh types of bristles on each or you can get all three of one but i get the three variety pack to clean mo detector finds and look at this it's still got some of the silver gilt like stuff on it because it's on the side of this well-drained hill I look places where the stuff that come is coming out of the ground is going to look nice. That's a daymaker for me for a metal detector fine case. That's a centerpiece for a metal detector fine case. Very cool. Later. Well, I found another dump, and this dump has old stuff. Look at this lavender cork top bottle. It's broke. Over here, there's this blue cork bottle. I, I was just metal detecting right up here on that next flat. I come down this and there's just glass everywhere. There's glass in here everywhere, folks. And I think a bunch of it's buried, but looks like there's 20 work years worth of digging here. People lived in that house. Look at this for, you know, way over 100 years later. All right, I'm still walking around. That's a shame on this old beer bottle. It's big and it says Pittsburgh Brewing Company. I don't have that. But see, here's a, a cork tonsilline bottle with a giraffe on it. There's stuff all over the place here. I'm going to look right in here, rake around a little bit, see what I can do. This bottle is all boiling up. I just raked it out right back in there. It says California fig syrup. Um, Calific. It's got other stuff on it there, too. That's an old cork. It's a shame. Probably. See out there's a the river. 
way up here. Man, still looking. Going up here and get my mow detector and start mow detecting again. Later. Great, I just picked this up. It's a little cow. It's a plastic one that's old. It's probably marks. It was just laying here. I'm mow detecting. Later. You can come along on this. I just found another bottle dump in the woods walking out of this place. And there seems to be lots of whole bottles in here. Some are broke, but some are whole. Nothing good yet. But you can see there's glass here. Just This is just the surface of the ground. Break. But who knows, I'll see if I can't see if there's good stuff here at least. And I'll get back to you if I see anything else. But you see there's stuff like this all over the place. You just gotta look. I can get on to new places almost every day if I walk all around. Look at that. That's a, a bird's eye flash camera. Man, that's a vintage, a vintage camera. Bird's eye flash made in the USA. When have you seen one like that? Kind of cool. Lay down. There's stuff all the way up this hill. It's been dumped over. Look at this old toy car held up because it's plastic. I'm going to take that, that driver out. I got him. Very cool. Take him home with us. Put him in another car I found. <laughs> Later. Alright, I'm walking out of here now. Um, going around to the point. I was walking lower flats to see if any bottles rolled all the way down in here across. I saw some bottles back here, but nothing good. Um, I'll probably give you airhead hunt in the morning. Um, I've been walking around in the woods for hours. It's how I find bottles and stuff. Got an amazing piece. Um, and a few other just average pieces. But it was worth coming up in here. That badge is cool. Later. All right, I'm back in my parents' yard. You can see this house was built pre-Civil War. I think like 10 years before, maybe even before that a little bit. I'm not completely positive. But it's right around pre-Civil War, right in there somewhere. All right, I've been out here a while. It's freezing today too. Get on flip-flops, that's a big mistake. My feet are cold and I'm all bundled up. My hands are filthy. Been out here digging holes and it's all old stuff because I'm in an old yard. I haven't found any modern junk because I'm digging all deep targets, but I'm just not getting anything great. But I got a hit in here and I think I got a hit in here before, but I didn't dig it because of these roots and I tunneled under them and right here's the edge of a coin. I flipped it up out of there. Oh man, fix this might, this might be silver. It is. It was ringing up. I sh well, it was ringing up in like a silver quarter. And I think this is a Roosevelt silver dime. Let me go in and get, um, uh, well, yeah, you can see it is. It looks like it's from the 50s. Let me go get it cleaned up and I'll put up pictures. That's a good find for my parents' yard. You know, it's not a, early American coin like I found last time, but I'll take a piece of silver later. All right, well, it's 1964. I just made it. I would have been pretty bummed if I'd have gotten a house and that would have been 1965, like that quarter I dug like a week ago in that park. I was digging all wheat scents and stuff, and you know, this is not that great. I'm not real excited about finding it, but anytime you can find a silver coin with a detector, it's a pretty good day these days anyway especially in your own yard, parents yard so not bad not what i'm looking for but a fine nonetheless later all right um i've been modi taking out here a while this is all i found is a silver dime and a bunch of just like pieces of brass and stuff i can't even show but there's a subscriber sent in thing i'll do mail call video on friday i'm going to do it fan mail friday is what i'm going to start calling it like once a month or twice a month depending on how many packages i get but Thanks, Andy Sparks. This is great. You can see I got tons of these bricks. I'll try to get one of these and send them with your order. Uh, I'm going to do the giveaway video and then I'll send you out something. Man. I've been extremely swamped, but we got a silver dime on a day that not, it's been raining all morning. Couldn't do much else. If you got a motor detector, you can find stuff. Yeah.